Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hello, I'm Danita Harris. Here's a look at today's top stories. The Ohio State House and Cleveland City Hall are among several government buildings in the state, temporarily shutting down through Inauguration Day. The closures come after a warning from the FBI about possible armed protests in all 50 states. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine and the Ohio State Highway Patrol are releasing details of a security plan or any specific threats. Like most in Northeast Ohio County, Stark County is seeing a growing demand for the coronavirus vaccine. The county's health department says so many people are calling to register that the phone lines are jammed. Right now, all available vaccination slots are filled for next week. The department says it will reopen the registration line for people who are 80 and older Thursday at 9 a.m. The local organization Hands On BVU is hosting a care package drive this weekend for people experiencing poverty. Organization, the organization Homeless Stand Down event are asking for toiletries or monetary donations. If you need more information about how to help, just look for this story on our News 5 app. Browns fans getting the chance to send off the team before Sunday's game in Kansas City against the Chiefs. The Browns are holding a drive through rally outside First Energy Stadium tomorrow to celebrate the team's playoff run. The event starts at 11 a.m., runs until 4 p.m. Fans are invited to drive down Alfred Lerner Way and see Browns alumni and mascots. A limited edition playoff poster will be given away as well while supplies last. Kickoff for Sunday's game is 3.05 p.m. News 5's coverage begins at 10.30 a.m. with our Brown Countdown show. Then join us after News 5 at 11 for Brownstown Live. Now for a look at your weather, here's Ramisha Shade. Well, good news. It looks like it'll be quiet weather for the big Browns game on Sunday, but not the case for us today. We've got a little rain, a little snow rolling in. It will be rain early in the afternoon for Cleveland. Temperatures in the low 40s, but as those temps drop through the day, Rain will transition to snow and there could be a little slushy accumulation out there. I think for some spots, maybe by tonight, one to two inches, but I think a lot of that melts, likely about half of it. So maybe about an inch of accumulation for some of you. There could be a few slick spots developing on some of the roads tonight. So take it easy and give yourself a little extra time. I'm not expecting Really big impacts though, so good news there. We've got a few more chances for snow this weekend as those temperatures stay on the colder side. Highs only in the middle 30s Saturday and Sunday. More chances for snow next week and overall a colder weather pattern. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.